Welcome to episode 10 mm. of the ABCs of TPBs. This is your host, Ninja Dave. I'm joined by host, Seed. Seed Delicious. That's I. Yes, I am the Seed Delicious. Yes, he is the Seed Delicious. Uh, we're going to be, we're on, we're on the J's today, mm. and we're going to be reviewing uh, JLA Earth 2 and Jupiter's Legacy. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, before we jump on in there, what, how have things been with you, good sir? Oh man, uh, things going like I was just telling you before we turned on the mic. I uh, record the first episode of uh, the new podcast that's going to be on the Pop Rica Network, yeah. man. Uh, the Cinnamon. The Cinnamon. The I Cinnamon. Like the yes, cinnamon. yes. So yeah. it's going to be an all film based. So the plan for Pop Rica was the actual Pop Rica podcast show kind of dabbles in a little of everything, right? Mm-hmm. He had a little movie news, a little television news, comic news, yeah. and then all the other shows that take deeper dives into each one of those. We have this one for comic books, mm-hmm. uh, and we have uh, the Cinnamon for film, man. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and whatever. Oh, and we got a little book club joint with our Harry Potter joint that we're right, doing with, right. uh, with the Weekly Profit, man. I, heard, I, heard, I would, I would uh, listen to that one, but I'm not a fan of Harry Potter anymore. Nor so. am I. Like, oh. Anymore, so you were a fan. I was a fan. What, the first three books. Okay. Oh, so it was the, the books that took you. It wasn't like, like uh, they catch Johnny Depp. I could never. No. no. So the, the, you, mean, just, the, you just got the, disinterested. The movies, in... Yeah, the movies were okay, but then, you know, I just like, I got to book three and I was like, I think I'm, I'm, You're I'm, done? I'm done. Yeah, you're done with it? Yeah. Um, did you watch all the movies or no? No. no. Did you watch any of the movies? Yeah, I watched, I, I would say, three or four of the films. Okay. Word, yeah. word, 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 word. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about this new this new show, this, uh, this Cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Should be good shit. Hopefully, you guys out there listening to that, listen to this, listen to that. What's, uh, what's new with you, sir? What's new? What you been reading besides anything for oh, our I, purposes? I actually started on... Uh, the Martian, uh, Andy uh, Weir. Yes, okay. Andy Weir, and uh, like I, said, I have not seen the movie, oh, but the uh, movie. I'm like I've got kind of like a, a book swap with a buddy of mine, Finn, and um, after I started reading it, I really like it. Yeah, from from all uh, reports, it is a good book. I have it sitting on the on the bookshelf. Mm. I will get to it at some point. Did you see the movie with Matt Damon? Uh, yes, I saw the movie. That was that was a first weekend type movie. I was like, I'm really know. interested to see what they do with this. And uh, okay. I think it's probably the last good thing Matt Damon's done. Oh, really? Last good thing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has yeah, it yeah. been bad things he's done since then? Uh, I would say not bad, just lackluster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's. I don't think he's outright bombing. Just nothing special. Downsizing. That's nothing thing. that's going to get him to the Emmys anytime soon. Uh, Oscars. Okay. Yeah, let, let you know my, my, my film knowledge. It's like Emmys, Oscars, uh, the, the AMVs, uh, the so, so the AMV, TMZs. The AMVs, the American uh, music videos. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, are you just not a film dude? Are you just not no, a I, I like film, but I just, you know, I don't know. I just For me, like the film awards festival stuff, it just seems kind of contrived, kind of, I don't know, it's kind of glad handing. I mean, I understand that people want to, want to have, want to get recognition for the stuff that they've done but I feel like yeah. I kind of feel like the, the award ceremonies that they have put out has been more popularity contests and actual skill based and merit based that kind of stuff it's interesting just, okay. it's just kind of yeah it, it, it's I don't know it's just not, it hasn't been my thing okay fair enough yeah that you know, my, Dave is a weird bird. That so. is my crack right there. I love award season really I, I love, I love the, as much as I love football mm-hmm. the Oscars are my Super Bowl uh, and it is just the seeing what's gaining momentum. Oh, this one the Directors Guild Award. This one's Writers Guild. Award. All right, so now it's got a, a better chance of, of not winning something or winning mm-hmm. something. I, I love trying to figure all that good stuff out. And of course, we have our our Oscar competition on Pop Break every is year. Is there too. some kind of? I mean, I know there's like a fantasy football. Is there like a fantasy Oscar you know, nomination? Oh, man, maybe I should see. If I, oh, I do do I do do Oscar bingo. So Oscar bingo. you know, yeah, okay. there's somebody you know, there's free space, and then you know. Somebody gets played off. That's going to be on there. And, you mm. know, somebody takes a not too subtle jab at somebody else. That's going to be on there. You know, oh, okay. that's my trip on the dress. That's going to be on there. <laughs> a little jab wardrobe, for uh, wardrobe, wardrobe malfunction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into this bit of business. Yeah, so we're starting off with uh, the old Frank Quitely episode. Yeah, this of, is the uh, uh, we got a we got a Frank Quitely double header. Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, he he, uh, he 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 did the artwork on both of these Jupiter Legacy and JLA Earth Two. Mm-hmm. JLA Earth Two though. Written by Grant Morrison, which you, who you haven't been much of a fan of. Nope. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm going to read the, the the jacket blurb here. They are the world's gravest superhero hero of uh, supervillains. Ultraman, Owlman, Superwoman, Power Ring, and Johnny Quick 
the legendary crime syndicate of America. America spelled with a K. Yes. Nothing has ever seriously threatened the global corruption they proudly enforce, but now a twisted mirror image of the CSA has arrived from the flip side of reality. Can anything stop this so-called Justice League, or will the stable, perfect evil of the Earth fall victim to the tyranny of law, righteousness, and freedom? Mm-hmm. So, is this, this is your first time reading this one. Yeah, yeah, I don't really fuck with Grant Morrison too much. Yeah, yeah this and, is my nor first time. Frank Quietly. Or I, I try to fuck with Frank Quietly as least. Amount yeah. of possible. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, see, so in this one, and I'll give the this is for the benefit of the listeners here because this is kind of what we do. Uh, we have we have a scenario in which Lex Luthor of this Earth Two universe, mm-hmm. he's the hero, right? And he he bridges the gap between these two realities uh, to to seek aid from Gondor. The, the, <laughs> seek aid from Gondor and my axe. <laughs> uh, so he seeks out the heroes of uh, of this Earth One, with, with you know the Justice League. They're the, they're the good guys, but from his uh, from his uh, universe, everything is just flip side. It's just yeah. like all the, the the Justice League is the the crime syndicate, and, they, and they've got some pretty interesting dynamics. Everything from Superman, you know, the uh, Ultraman being this power hungry mm-hmm. alien. Owl Man being a sadistic version of, of Batman. Batman. Wonder good. Woman just she's like a dominatrix with uh, and she loves playing you know doing power trips. Johnny Quick is a, a speed junkie. He's mm-hmm. like, he he, he uh, juices up to uh, uh, to to gain access to the speed force. It's just a, just a, a interesting take and like a flip side of. Yeah, of, the, uh, it seems like the dude with the ring was the only sane guy. <laughs> that was on he was this just, group. Yeah. Well, he, he was kind of most chill, low key dude. Well, he, he, only because he was also inhabited by an, an alien who was constantly fighting for control of his body. That's true. So That's he, true. he kind of he kind of was fighting his own battle. He was just you know doing what he could, but so you know. That's that's the the whole the whole bit of it. I mean, there's there's not a lot of surprises or that type of thing. You just kind of get to see what what Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, all these guys be like if they were evil. Mm-hmm. Um, and you kind of get to see those universes um, explored a bit. What did you? What were, what's your take on it? Well, yeah. first off, uh, <laughs> let's, let's, this is like a quietly episode. What do you think about the art? This art is fucking garbage, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I hate Frank quietly in anything he's ever done. Oh, he gets on my nerves. Uh. I don't understand. He just has lines in places that the lines don't need to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? There's like no distinct features on men or women. Yeah. Uh, but but anything I mean but the thing is you know I, I I'm not a huge fan of quite work but I I, I kind of dig it just because it's so different and pronounced. Yeah, I think it's different because I see it and I'm like, oh, I know this is a story I'm not reading, so <laughs> he's got that going for him. I yeah. know it's quite these artwork. Yeah, it's just yeah, these things are just ultra super weird. I'm not sure who the fuck taught him to draw, but it's mm-hmm. weird. Like like. Why are there lines here? Like, why are there ridges here? That doesn't make <laughs> any sense to it's, me. It's, it's called the quietly shading technique. Okay, that's yeah. what the hell it is. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, the artwork in both this and Jupiter's Legacy are both supremely whack. But uh, the story I find was interesting. Ah, Morrison kind of gave you the hook. Yeah, man. it was it was interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. There's some stuff in there that I was just like, uh, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. But for were, the most, were you able to get through the entire book? I got through the oh, entire book. That's yeah, good. That's yeah, good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I got the entire book. We're breaking the streak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what did we do last? The eyes. I yeah. got. I got through whatever your eye was, didn't I? What was that? Invincible. You did get it. Well, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, was very. It was very short. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, four but, but, but you hadn't read the volume two yet. No, well, you know how much shit I got on my plate, man. I know you got a lot. Hosting five shows. I know, man. Uh, you put in that work. I put in podcasts. As, as the youth say. As the youth say, I yeah. put in that work, work. Um, <laughs> I uh, I forgot that they they did, they did a one of their DC animated joints is based mm-hmm. in part off of this mm-hmm. and uh, my buddy just hit me to the fact that they're all on Hulu apparently mm-hmm. so I might check that out when I go home uh, oh, so today you seen that. yeah I, I've only seen like maybe five or six of them. Uh, I've been planning on making a day of just sitting on the couch and breezing through like mm-hmm. you know a good chunk of them mm-hmm. um, might do that tomorrow or something like that but yeah this is this is what I'm gonna that might be the first one I check out is the one just to mm-hmm. see how they adapt this story I kind of I kind of want to just spoil you on one thing that happens in the the animated well, let's not do that <sighs> let's talk about that tomorrow after I after I watch it after you, okay so you will watch it I'll, I'll watch it either tonight or tomorrow okay. I'm off tomorrow All right. so it's the, the scene but the, the, you'll know what it is it's the scene between the flash and and Johnny quick all right fair enough. it's it's that's my favorite scene in the entire animated bit it's the whole in, the, like, in all the animated movies that no, ever no, 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 or this is that one just, in particular just that one in particular okay. that's my yeah. favorite scene in that in that 
film. Yeah, I, I, some stuff I didn't like in here, like the whole uh, Wonder Woman becoming Superwoman on this, oh, on this yeah. other joint. I wasn't a big fan of her character at all. And yeah, I don't know I mean, why she, she was antagonizing Jimmy Olsen for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I mean, just because just she can, man. Just because she can. Just she can. Um, I like the, the the wonky science behind the whole thing. Yeah. That was kind of cool to see. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's wonky, wonky comic, comic book science. Like, uh, I slingshot myself around the sun and got through the, <laughs> that's, through the, that's the wonky Star Trek science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one, um, the whole counterbalance, like if something comes from this universe, mm -hmm. there has to be something in the other universe to counterbalance that out and that mm -hmm. whole thing. And that's mm -hmm. kind of how the crime syndicate breaks out of the, the prison that, that Lantern put him in, which mm -hmm. I thought was kind of a cheap cop out, but also, yeah. also, you know, it's wonky comic book signs. Yeah. Um, Luthor being the only hero in his universe, I thought right. was kind of an interesting concept too. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it, it, yeah. I felt myself feeling bad for him. Quite, quite a bit. Yeah, like he's. I mean, like the, the league has each other, you know, mm -hmm. all that kind of good shit. But it's just one dude fighting oh, everything. Mm -hmm. And like the thing he's is, destined to fuck up. Yeah, and the thing is, he's still kind of Luther. He's he's still uh, self. Uh, he's still a little bit dickish. Yeah, a little bit dickish. Yeah, he's still a little bit dickish. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. Uh, but, but, he, but he's a well-intentioned. He's a well-intentioned jerk. Like when he comes over uh, to to the main universe, you know, he like, gives everybody raises and gives the secretary extra sixty thousand to go on vacation. Right. Shit like that was kind of cool to see. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, the whole big bad villain by the whole thing uh, was it, it was okay. The Brainiac twist was all right. I think mm -hmm. they wrapped this up a little too quickly. It did. It did. Yeah. Go happen, happen a bit quickly, but you know. They, they they had you know a little bit to work with. Do you have any favorite panels uh, from this in, book? In this one, uh, maybe when uh, Johnny Quick was powering back up and it showed him from going from super slow to just vibrating all over the place. But let me see here. It might have been yeah the whole dynamic of what's going on with Gotham because Batman is largely absent from the actual doing of anything because he yeah. immediately goes to Gotham to see what's going on yeah. and that's that's you know Jim Gordon's a crime boss now and it really yeah and it, it, you know his relation with his with his father and it's just it's really interesting I'm trying to think if there's anything that in particular I mean it shouldn't because it's Frank Whiteley artwork so <laughs> <laughs> I mean there, there are a few things I mean the you know the Ultraman using his heat vision to warn the two that he was you know he's watching them um, but doesn't really seem to care yeah, Does he? He doesn't. I mean, he's 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 pissed off about it, but it's like maybe he's just got too reason, much other shit on his plate right now. Maybe He'll he deal with when he gets maybe to he it. just likes being a, a, a cuckold, a voyeur. Well, yeah, 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 like a cuckold. He's just like, yeah, yeah, do it, but don't do it. Do it, but don't do it. <laughs> do it, but, I'll, but I'll kill you afterwards. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did like that at the very end. Yeah, uh, yeah. All all was right with the world. Um. So yeah, it was. It's. Uh, I think I would have enjoyed it more if someone else had done the artwork on it. Okay. Honestly. And if it had been a little bit longer, you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, okay. it seems like it's like, oh, Brainiac's behind this whole thing. And then everything's <laughs> wrapped up like 10 pages later. Right. Yeah, so that I kind of had issues with. I'm trying to think of how many, I'm trying to look at how many pages this thing. Does it even have a page count on it? I don't think it does. Mm -hmm. But it, it was, it, 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 was it, a, it seemed to me like it was a quick, quick read. Quick read. Yeah. yeah. It seemed to be maybe like an hour and some change. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge Grant Morrison fan, but I think I've read this. Mm -hmm. And what did he do? Soups for all season? No, All Star Superman was All Star Superman. Quietly, right? Yep. Yeah, I've read that. I did that for uh, the Moving Panels podcast. And you still haven't uh, <clears throat> you haven't done the uh, the new X Men stuff that he did? Uh, quite back when? Yeah, quietly. No, okay. I will never read that. Series. No, say never, because like I said, that was actually pretty good. I told you the thing about Scott Summers and 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 you know being depowered. And then having the handgun and shooting the guy, yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. like, you know, it was like, you, Hank, you would not believe the day I've been having. This oh, that great. sounds cool, but it just not with Frank Quietly artwork attached to I'm it. I'm saying, if you made it through this, you can make it through that one. I don't know about all that, sir. Yeah. That's a much, much longer <laughs> bit of reading than uh, than JLA. Yeah, I had a little bit of hesitation going into it because I'm not a huge JLA person in the first mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. not a huge Grand Morrison person, I'm not a huge Frank Quietly person, mm -hmm. but. It was better than I expected it to be. Oh. I don't say that. So would, you, would you call it a go or a no go from you? If there was like a JLA Earth Two Part Two, mm -hmm. it would be a very hesitant go. <laughs> like I would have to, I would have to hang back and see what other people were saying about it first. Yeah. Before I decided whether or not I want to, you know, go full steam yeah. into it. Well, I understand that, but I mean, as far as you know, since this being a self-contained bit, is it is it a would you recommend it to other people to read or no? 
I would recommend it to people who were already fans of the DC universe if they had not read it yet. You are very, a man of very measured words. Yeah, yes, I'm a man of very measured words. Well, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave it at that. I won't, I won't press you any further. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It's just like oh, I don't know what they're going for. Give me something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't throw that at them. Now, I will say that <clears throat> when you watch the animated, it's going to be. I won't say it's going to be drastically different, but it's going to be significantly different enough. I think if I and it, and it quickly, won't have any quietly. Yes, yeah, so that's that's so. for it. I think it's a mix of that and another storyline, and they blended it together. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm looking forward to not seeing Quietly's artwork in this whole, whole <laughs> ever tale, again, ever again. If yeah. I could, if I had my way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm. That's what I'm. I would give it a tentative go, or I would suggest it to people who are already fans of DC. Like I said, mm-hmm. if they were just looking for something something else they hadn't read. Okay. Fair enough. I guess we'll uh, we'll call it a, we'll, we'll call it a wrap on that one then. We'll call Is there anything you want to add to it? Uh, no, 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 no. no. Right. Uh, it was cool seeing the uh, the sword hand Aquaman again. It oh, has been yeah, a while since I read anything. Yeah, with, uh, little, little, sword, old old Hukan, Hukan, yeah. Hukan. A little bit of Martian Manhunter. He talked a little bit of shit up in there. I was I was appreciative of that. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of uh, of how Green Lantern looked. I'm not sure why he had that visor over his eyes. Oh. I'm not sure if there's something happening in DC in the 90s at that time that made him have that visor on. But I, mean, I yeah, thought it looked kind of ridiculous. Kyle's kind of got that an advisor there too so yeah yeah I was just saying I'm not sure oh, why, both yeah, why, yeah why our Green Lantern or whatever you want to call it that's the thing man they have a thing about masks they have a thing about masks they gotta man. protect that secret identity apparently All space right. police I guess <laughs> <laughs> alright <laughs> if you're gonna rub somebody up you wanna remain somewhat anonymous <laughs> Green Lives Matter. Green Lives Matter. All right. Yeah, I think that's it for this one, man. All right. We will we'll end that segment and uh, come back with Jupiter's Legacy. Mm. Thank you for saving my father. We will take care of him now. McCann, we're coming. Simon says smartly done. Brain blasting your own team. I had no idea you'd go to such lengths to hide your true self from your good friends. Well, actually, I did, but you needn't have bothered. It's being recorded for posterity. No! Ah, ah, ah. I didn't say Simon said. Before we get into this Jupiter's legacy, sir, huh. we were just talking about Infinity War mm-hmm. a second ago. The war. The war, as it's called. Do you remember where you were when the war kicked off? Um, were you in the war? I was, I was in the theater with everybody war. else. <laughs> war never changes. <laughs> Which of the Infinity Stones would you want? Hmm. You got six to choose from. I only could get one. You only have one. The Power Stone, the Soul Stone, Reality Stone, the Time Stone, and the whatever stone I'm forgetting. I probably would do a Reality Stone. You're taking the Reality Stone. You I'll know what? Reality. I, I, Figured you for a reality yeah, stone guy. Yeah, yeah. it's like he's gonna take the offbeat. He's one all he's, <laughs> he's, one he's no already he's choose. always you know detached from reality anyway. <laughs> yeah. So you take the reality stone, huh? Yeah, which would you take? Oh no, I think I might. What was this reality, soul, time, power? power. Uh, what is it? Reality, soul, time, power. I'm trying to think of these colors. All right. As a soul gem, there's the Tesseract the... space. Space. That's what I'm always forgetting. I'm not yeah. going to do anything with the space stone. Yeah. I think we go with the time stone, dude. Time stone? Yeah. What would you do with the time stone? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Because I mean, with the reality stone, I mean, I like affecting change. I like, you know, instant. So I'm like, well, time stone would do that too. Maybe if we go yeah. back together, I'll take us through time, then you can alter the reality there. There you go. There okay, fair go. enough. We'll, we'll tag team. There we tag team. Yeah. Back again. How, how far back would you want to go with, sir? I'm going back as far as 1970 something. 1970 something. So let me go back to the slave days and I accidentally dropped the stone. And then, well, I mean, mm, and we, could, we could go back to slave days and I could use the reality stone and we could just totally Wakanda this on up. We're kind of, well, we could do that. We <laughs> damn well could do that. Right. So let us know, listeners, if you're listening to this joint, if you can only have one of the stones. Which one would it be? If you could be a tree, what kind of tree would you be? <laughs> uh, white ash. White ash. Uh, that yeah, they're, they're the most laid back of the trees. I yeah. Think. Um, Jupiter's Legacy, sir. Jupiter's Legacy. Written by Mark Miller. A lot of people say Millar. It is Millar. Miller. It is Miller. Uh, okay. Scottish bastard. Uh, uh, art again by uh, old Fumbles Quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Art 
Look how old Fumble. <laughs> Fumble's quietly. <laughs> um, Delightful. I'll read you a little blurb on the back here. Uh, Chloe and Brandon are the children of the world's greatest heroes. Can they ever fill their parents' shoes? Which really, uh, that's what this is about. It's not about the superheroes and all that. It's about living up to the legacy mm. of uh, the ones that come before Jupiter's you. Jupiter's legacy? Oh, yeah. Jupiter's legacy. <laughs> <laughs> so the story behind this is um, 29 stock market crash, right? Mm-hmm. Is also the uh, the setting behind the Black Monday murders. That's mm-hmm. a whole different, that's a different image thing. title. Yeah. Um, and this dude uh, feels something calling to him, right? Mm-hmm. So he rounds up him, his brother, his friends couple of the cats mm-hmm. and they go on a journey they go to find this island that seemed to pop up in the middle of nowhere that was on right. nobody's map no one's map and he, he learned of it in a dream he learned of it in a dream uh, it pulled him there mm-hmm. uh, and there they receive from these beings uh, powers of some kind to help them restore the prominence of the country that they love America mm-hmm. right yeah it's um, always American centric, but you know. I, mean, I assume that they have the same thing in other countries, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, their countries, movies and stories are centric to their countries, probably. Well, I mean, it's just, it's you know, it's you know, it's just, it's just it's disheartening when it's just it's Sarah, so American centric. I mean, it's like you know, let's we let's let's check out some other places. I mean, this is also based around uh, something that happened really in reality in America. All right. They right? I mean, that that is the basis of his motivation. That's it. That's right? true. Yeah, um, I get that. I get that. Uh, I'm just giving you. I'm giving you a tough time. Yeah, you are. Uh, so you know they are with these powers, and the story picks up <clears throat> about 20 years after that. 20, 30 years down. No, no, actually, much further down the road. After further that. down the road, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I think uh, they reference the mom being almost 100 years old at that point. Mm-hmm. So decades later, and they become the 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 superheroes. And then since then, uh, other superheroes have spawned. Mm-hmm. They, uh, have they, they have children as well. They have children as well, and there's a focus on the children living up to legacy. The children are all fuck ups. Of uh, uh, immenseness, uh, mm-hmm. overdosing and just drinking and, and whoring it out. I, mean, I think I, I think yeah, I think it's all the white privilege. It's all the white privilege. That's yeah. the real superpower, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is. uh, so yeah, and then it, it, things progress from there. There's a difference in ideology of how things should be handled. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you think about this story, Dave? I thought it was good. <clears throat> uh, it started off kind of. Um, Kind of almost had that kind of planetary vibe. I don't know if you read planetary. No, I do believe that is your P, isn't it? It is my P. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been holding off on it. Uh, but no, it kind of had a planetary vibe, and then it and then kind of shifted a bit to kind of an Astro City vibe. Oh, yeah. like, all these superheroes kind of doing stuff. Shout out to Kurt Music. His last issue of Astro City just dropped last week. Really? Yep. So, so the legacy is is complete. Yeah, he said he'll do just like some one offs here and there randomly, but mm-hmm. uh, as long, long as they keep giving him money, long running Astro City is forever done. Okay. Fair enough. We'll pour a little a little drink for that series. Um, and then, let's say it seemed like it was a, it was a, a standard story, and I, I kind of knew what to expect. And then uh, a few, a few things actually, a couple of twists came up mm-hmm. that I was not expecting, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised by that. So I was, um, it, it went from just kind of being okay, I can get through this, I can, I know what to expect. To oh man, this is pretty interesting. I'd, I'd like to see what what else happens. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, the themes of of the the, the child taking over for the uh, the parent mm-hmm. uh, does any of that resonate with you? Was the, the, the for some reason it seems that in stories there there's the parents sometimes have a a drive for the kid to be better than them. Mm-hmm. You, is that a drive? You think that's healthy? Or how about we just strive for our kids to be happy with what they have? Well, I think I think I think anything balanced is as well. But it seems like most of the old guard in this, they are very heavy handed with that, you know, responsibility, responsibility. And mm-hmm. the kids are like, I didn't ask for this stuff. This That's, is what you want to do. Yeah. But I didn't, you know, I didn't grow up in the time that you grew up in. I, I mean, I, I get that. I understand that that difference. But yeah, I, I think if you're a parent, <clears throat> if you try to make your kids do anything, they're gonna they're gonna rebel against it. That's just that's how that dynamic yeah, works. Yeah, that's just it's just how it works. Yeah. In, in life. Yeah. yeah, kids rebel at times. Yeah, if you don't give them anything to rebel against, they just kind of well, I just, I'm like, hey, just enjoy life. I'm gonna I'm gonna be horrible at life. I'm like, well, okay, that's that's your choice. Well, uh, yeah, you'll you'll be, figure out that's a terrible idea. That's terrible. That's idea. at some point in your life. <laughs> I'm gonna let life teach you that. Yeah, let life. Uh, did you have a preferred panel? Probably that one. Yep, I think it's this one for me as well. Yeah. Uh, is this one of the twists that you were speaking of? No, no, no. You, did you no, just... no, I mean, it, it's 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 part of. I mean, I, it's 
that that actually wasn't a, a twist. I, I kind of knew with, with with his power being shown off earlier. I kind of knew something like that was going to happen. I was like, it was, it was, it was too easy. Yeah, it was, it was the setup. I was not expecting that level of gruesomeness because they no. they hadn't really gotten to that, done that um, in this one before. No. Um, but but like I say, being a um, I won't say a fan of Quietly, but just uh, more uh, experience with his work, I know that he can get pretty gruesome in his details, mm-hmm. and and that was that was a it was a, it was a, it was a when I turned the page and saw it, it was. It was welcome. It was a good turn page. Yeah. Uh, yeah but knowing how gruesome Millar likes, or Miller likes to write, mm-hmm. it's a dude that kick ass. Yeah. Uh, as well as uh, Wanted. And, yeah, and Wanted. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, Superior and all sorts of other stuff. Nemesis. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it threw me off. Oh, so yeah, halfway through, it takes a drastic tonal shift. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you think about that whole business? I thought it was different. Uh, I, th- I thought it was good. I thought it was necessary for the for the book. Because, like I say, it was, it was an okay story. I kind of felt myself getting a little bit fatigued and, and thinking uh, is, is, is it going to just be more of this throughout the rest of the book it, it, it's okay it's not amazing but it's just not really pushing the envelope and I'm turning the page like, holy shit they pushed the envelope yeah so, yeah yeah, yeah, really yeah. Uh, Miller's disdain for the big two shows in here uh, I don't, actually know yeah. it I don't think you get to see it because uh, I have it both physically which is what you borrow and I uh-huh. have it on Comixology which is how I read it earlier uh-huh. in the day uh-huh. which still has the letter section oh, and pretty okay. much in the letter section he tells the readers uh, this is the big superhero event for the summer uh, all the other ones you read oh he also says there's no crappy tie-ins you need to read mm-hmm. as well it's taking overt shots mm-hmm. at the big two and this is also the dude who wrote Civil War uh, but it, is there room for anybody other than the big two to get up in the superhero game absolutely yeah, is, you just have to have a good story and a decent enough marketing strategy where, where it captures people's attention. Because mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. You can have the best, like uh, what's that, that that sci-fi movie that was mostly women uh, uh, for the cast. That was uh, it was it was a recent film. It was in theaters. Annihilation. Annihilation. I didn't get, I haven't got a chance to see it yet. Fucking great! I, I, I just named it as my number two of the year so far. But like I say, it just it it didn't get publicized very well. And it was one of the best movies out there from right here. Yeah. So, and it also suffered from coming out the week before Black Panther. So well, all that, marketing was just Panther, 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 Panther. Yeah, Panther. It, was, yeah it got buried. It, it, couldn't, it, couldn't have, it couldn't have gotten through. My other favorite panels was actually from these two pages. And it, it's it's less from the, the artwork, but more from the dialogue. Mm-hmm. I just I just love it. Should I read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. It, was, it was just great. It was like, Dad's going to love this. This is exactly the kind of thing he's always telling me I should be doing. He says that, you know, he says when I don't have supervillains to fight, I should be out there drumming up business and looking for ways to help people. Well, it doesn't get much more awesome than this, huh? Absolutely. How many days have we saved off your, your journey, Captain? He yells back. I'm not sure. Maybe one and a half? <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's, there's really no need to go through all this trouble, boys. The ship was on schedule anyway, and we might actually have problems getting a space at the Port Authority if we show up too early. No trouble at all, sir. <laughs> Our pleasure. Just tell the crew to sit back and relax, and we'll have you in San Diego in, in a little over two hours. It's just, it's just crazy stuff. I mean, I just, I love it because you know the, the it's just, it's that self-aggrandizing, uh, yeah. the, the overly important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you whether you like it or not. Pretty much. <laughs> and I'm gonna make the situation worse. Now, what did you think about the whole uncle whispering in his ear? And so, so uh, you mean ska? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it exactly. was it was classic it Mufasa was, Scar yeah, uh, betrayal. Um, the thing that I found interesting that was, I guess, kind of a twist mm-hmm. for me is he's like, I got these ideas of how we need to fix this. Mm-hmm. These are the ideas. This is what we need. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, dope. He's got ideas. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And then we see the road this ideas get implemented, and they're horrible. They're, horrible. <laughs> they're all totalitarian, mm-hmm. dictatorship like. Yeah, and I, like, I expected that. Horrible. You expected that. I expected that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, expecting things to go like say that the <clears throat> from for all the, the the bravado and the and the self righteousness of the the leader, you know, just saying hey, we need to stay out of this. We just need to save people's lives. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Stay out of politics. I thought that that you know he was right about you know let's not just carte blanche and just and, and interfere with these things. I mean, I think if they were, <clears throat> I think it was more if it was more team concerted effort instead of just one guy saying this is how we should do things. Yeah. I think it could have it could have worked, but like I said, just one guy who's already power hungry and and full of himself to begin with. 
Yeah. It was doomed to fail. That's what I was going to ask. Well, you... fail in that, in that way. He, he succeeded on other levels. Yeah. 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 Uh, he failed the world. Uh, I was going to ask you, would, uh, do you, do you agree with dudes? We're superheroes. Let's just do what we do and save lives and not get involved. Let the politicians do the politics. Uh, do you, is that something that you agree with? Like, if we had a superhero team up, would you want them to get involved at that level or just do what they do and just save lives and, and, and stomp out disasters? Well, what was my, what was my, my pick for our first episode? Uh, the authority. That's where I would go, sir. <laughs> that's where I would go. I'd, I'd be like, that's the, they, I mean, that whole series is a, is, is sadly a might makes right kind of situation, but these guys, those guys actually, Wanted to do right by the world. Now mm-hmm. you know they they made some tough calls and they answered to no one. Yeah. But they have they have the best interests of the world at heart. I mean, if I mean that world didn't didn't really have didn't really have a choice. Yeah. So, but uh, but they did the, the best with it that they could. Now these guys, they're they've been kind of messing up from the start. Uh, they they've been. <sighs> I think that's my my issue with the the whole notion of superpowered people in 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 general and how and why the the topic the discussion of superhero the superhero genre has changed to that oh what about this collateral damage what about you know, human yeah. lives what about you know being being beholden to a nation or some kind of accountability I think that's why the the talk has turned to that because in in a realistic world it's difficult to have just Superpowered vigilantes, or anyone who has lost too much power to mm-hmm. do anything, because I mean, it's it just it's too easy to be corrupted. Okay, so power, absolute power corrupts absolutely. It does, it does. I say, you know, in, in in a perfect world, I'd love for you know the authority type situation to to be a thing, but no, it's just it's it would too easily turn into a Jupiter's legacy thing in a, in a, in a real world. So is this a go or no go for you? There? Oh, I loved it. It's a yeah, go. It's a go. Yeah, I, there I is, to, to there is a book two out. Mm. Uh, so they came out with the uh, after this. There, mm-hmm. um, you know, Miller's like I'm, I'm back writing Jupiter stuff, but it's actually the adventures of the old dudes in their heyday when they first get their oh, powers. Say that. Yeah, that's what I said. And now he is. I do believe he's back in another volume that continues this story mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Uh, Jupiter's legacy that's, two. That's, that's where I mean, it's it, it's tough to. Uh, I think it's tough to do, to do that formula where you start off kind of in the in the past and then you shoot forward to the present and then you want to go back and tell more from the past. I'm like, no, yeah. you've already started the momentum for this new thing. Yeah, let's just keep that going. Yeah, you know, yeah. maybe sprinkle in some some, some bits of the past. Yeah. yeah, and then that can help. That can help build the story out. You can flesh it out without having to devote an entire book because if you do that, then people who are interested in the rest of the stu- the story from book one, they might get a little tired, disinterested. You know, not come back. You hear that, Bond Greg Rocker? Rocker? That's what he did with Lazarus, <laughs> man. You hear that, Rocker? You hear that, Rocker? Uh, yeah, and that's how I lost interest in Lazarus because mm-hmm. he went and told all these side stories and mm-hmm. I, I, I gave two shits about. Okay. I, I was recommended uh, Lazarus. So how far are you into it? Five volumes? Five volumes? Yeah, he, he did five volumes and then he split off and started doing other stuff and I think he just, I think he's like two issues back into the main story. All right. I do believe it is my... L. Is it? It's either going to be that or Lock and Key. I'm just trying to figure which one I want to go with. I don't want to go too image because I've got a nice little string of image right now. Lock and Key is image, right? Lock and Key is not image. Lock and Key is IDW. IDW. Uh, Lazarus is I've, image. I've but, read a little bit of Lock and Key and, and well, I mean, I don't let this influence your decision. You know, you know, one way or the other, like Torture Dave or not, but uh, <laughs> I've read some of the stuff and just... It's been tough for me to get into Lovecraftian, Cthulian yeah, I'm not the horror when, when it's not, it actually doesn't have the demons and things, mm, and mm-hmm. you know, it's just more of just a, a hint at it and the madness that ensues from it. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. I understand yeah, that. But, yeah. yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I mean, you, figure something you, out. you do what you gotta do. You know, take, take your, you know, don't throw darts at your, don't throw physical darts at your paperbacks. So no, let's, let's not do that. The entire, let's <laughs> not do that, but you know. Figure uh, out something. Yeah, flip, a, flip a coin. Yeah. Go the go the Harvey Dent model. There I believe in I believe in Harvey Dent. I I still want a button that says that. You should get one. I should get. One. I still want a um, a passport that has a national Wakandan citizen. I I still want a passport just to get to Latveria. That's right. I, I think go. we can do that and make that happen. The next Heroes Con. Oh, okay, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Yeah. All right. So what else we got on the on the agenda here, sir? Oh, uh, let's see here. I think we 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 get to talk about the Gomez graphic, and we also need to talk about. Well, who's going to win this uh, weight loss challenge, Dave? 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we said we're stopping at what letter? M. M. All house right. of M. At the house of M. <clears throat> so I, as last weighing, am down four pounds okay. from my original weigh in. How 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 are you looking? I think I was I think I was I got down, was it listen to the thing seven pounds? Yeah. And then I gained two of those back. Ooh, okay, I'm back in the run. I'm back in the runs. <laughs> so I mean, I'm, I'm only one point, uh, ahead, only a one pound ahead of you, but you know, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. All right, then. Uh, I'm just ready to get that saga, saga book two, sir. That's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We'll, we'll see. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, you can go out and buy it anytime. I mean, why, why stop do you? that when I can get it for free from you? Well, you know, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Let's see if uh, so, no, you... no cheating with the uh, the time stone. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna <laughs> keep going back and losing more and more weight. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so don't get to... donuts. I want to strike a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even I know. lay and check my cholesterol level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if Dunkin' Donuts is a place that you. Before, no, I'm, I'm a crispy guy. I'm a crispy crispy cream. cream. Dude. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. The hot sign, man. The hot sign. Dude, the hot, hot donuts. I'm so glad it's not a crispy cream. Like the closest one to me, I think, is like a twenty-five minute drive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You heard you heard they're doing the new uh, the, the the chop chocolate covered glaze thing. I heard, I heard about this. Yeah. I, God damn it! I love those guys and I hate them. Yeah. Uh, so, Young Gomez, who I will be interviewing <gasps> on the podcast for uh, for some paprika business. Gasp! Uh, the next month, oh, I will be you. talking comics. Tell her I said hello. I will do that. Um, she says she's read the first volume of uh, Invincible, and she mm-hmm. felt the same as I did. Couldn't understand why someone who knew the type of stuff that she liked would recommend this title because the intro felt basic. Mm-hmm. It's so very basic. It, 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 it kind of spoon feeds you into it. Is it's, what it's, it does. It's so disarming. Okay, all right, and then it just ramps up to wildness. You, it ramps up to murders. Oh yeah, the murders. <laughs> the murders. <laughs> uh, I mean, you you recall how. How striking! I guess the first time you read Jupiter's Legacy, how striking that panel was when you saw the what really happened to the mom. Mm-hmm. That's that was all well and good, but when you see when you see the stuff that happens in Invincible, Invincible. you're gonna be like, oh my god. Okay. They, right. Yeah. She says she gave up Invincible, but Ninja Dave, I think you've convinced me to keep going with yes. it. Yes. Boom! Invisible Thanks. Republic sounds way cool. So this is a double thumbs up for me. Mm-hmm. Boom! 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 By the way, mm-hmm. quick question for you guys: How do you pick your titles for ABCs and TPBs? Do you choose based on what you've read? Before or what you want to read, maybe pull some titles out of a hat. Uh, I know we talked about it a little bit in the uh, in that thread there, well, but, but we, yeah. But you know, it, you know, our our seventeen million listeners may not have read that thread, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just share true. share with them. This is for you, seventeen million. Uh, when I first came up with the idea, I was sitting in, in my comic book room, and I was like, "Oh, let's just do this, and then we can do this, 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 this." And I just looked, and I said, "All right, well, that'll be my A, that'll be my B." So it's pretty much all stuff I had, mm-hmm. with the exception of about. Five or six letters, mm-hmm. um, and then he, he he decided to invite me along for this wild ride, and said, uh, "Yeah, Dave, I want to get you on the show mainly because you read a lot of weird stuff." Yep, man, I do. I mean, I, I think actually, you know, from from the, the stuff that we've we've read so far, I think it's been half weird, and, yeah, and, and most and half most of it's pretty been pretty tasty. You know, we've been reading a lot of image stuff. Yeah, we have been. Yeah, we have been. I, I haven't strayed too far from them, but you know, this this next half, man. Oh, once, oh, once I win this, once be... I win this weight loss challenge, <laughs> well, that's not gonna happen. All but... the all the weights are coming off, man. <laughs> right, Can't okay. hold Dave back. Yeah, I'm bringing Krispy Kreme in. It's gonna be it's gonna be our uh, next sponsor. Yeah, like, um, <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any sponsor for this. I, I know we didn't. We just uh, sponsored by friendship. Yeah, sponsored sponsored by, by friendship. friendship on, friendship on is Earth magic. Ten. Um. Yeah. So the yeah. Cause you you sent me your original list, and I was like, "This is what? What the fuck is this?" Right. So I haven't heard of most of these. <laughs> I I'm like, "What are these?" So actually, it's, it's a good combination of stuff I've heard of and stuff I've actively avoided. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no in between. Like, yeah. Like, I, like, I knew what JLA or two was. I was just like, right. "Nope, I will never read that." And here I am reading it. Thanks yeah. to Ninja Dave. Yeah, you're welcome. Um. Yeah, and some of it, like all the stuff I didn't have. <laughs> I was just like, well, I guess that'd be a good time to just you know wing it on in there. Yeah, we went to like we went to a mini con together. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we, we found the F's. We found the F's. Yeah. So we, we picked up some stuff that uh, filled out the uh, the rest of our um, our lineups. And I'm I'm still missing a K for some reason. I think I had a K, but then I, I something else happened to it. I had a I have I have a K in there, but it's not technically uh, uh, a TPB. It's more like a I guess it's a, it's actually an indie project. It's it's Part comic and part novella. Mm, so, mm. 
So I don't, know, I don't know if I'll submit you to that. I haven't finished reading it my, myself, but <clears throat> yeah, there's and there's a couple of sales on Coming Sellology where I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. what do you know? I yeah. needed an M. Yeah. Mouse Guard went on sale. I've mm-hmm. never read Mouse Guard before, so that's gonna be my M. Oh, cool. Uh, Mouse Guard is pretty cool. I, I have read that. It's, that it's dude is at Heroes Con every year, yes. and I don't have anything to sign. I think I bought a couple of them, but they're all digital. See, uh, here's what the thing is gonna be. It's gonna be, <clears throat> it's gonna be bittersweet when we get to M because I'm gonna win. The weight loss challenge, but uh-huh. as a consolation prize, I get to read the meta bear. You get to read the meta bear. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew I was going. So through. it is going to be doubly sweet when I get my new saga volume two, book two, I should say, hardcover, and I finally get to check out this meta bear. She keeps on now. It's just a win-win for me all around. I get to put some money back in my pocket because I'm not buying that book, <laughs> and <laughs> and based on your recommendation, I've already bought like the first seven or eight volumes of the meta bear, so I'm expecting a good wild ride there. You may have a time zone. Remember, I have the reality stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's making the numbers on the scale change. <laughs> Two pounds. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Hey, me that sandwich. <laughs> you got anything else before you want to wrap this bad boy that's up? That's it, man. That's it for me. I'm, I'm good. <clears throat> All right, then. So I guess there's no changes to the Gomez graphics since we both got thumbs up on that one. Okay, thumbs up. All right, then. Hey, we, will, pretty good. we will keep this bad boy chugging right along. Uh, by the way, I just, I'll just say this to, to Alicia. I'm like, you know, it's okay. <clears throat> it's, I'm, I'm glad that you gave us both thumbs up. And up. But, you know, next time, just tell us how you really feel. It's okay to side with Dave here on out. But it's, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. I feel like after I break out this K on that ass, kill or be killed, oh. she's definitely going to want to side with me on this on this. So what are we doing for our case next time? Is it a surprise, or are we gonna we're gonna give them with the double double whammy right now? Yeah, gonna... whammy right now. I mean, well, I have mine. You don't have yours yet. I don't swing him a half yet. a whammy or a single whammy. I don't know. Have you? You've heard of this, correct? Kill or be killed. I've heard of it. I just I haven't read it. All right, you haven't read just because there's just so much other stuff going on in the world. That you just haven't quite got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just haven't quite gotten to it. One of those things. I don't know. Slip through the crack. Maybe so. All right. Then. Well, uh, I, I, I think that's something that you will enjoy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the last issue. Speaking of last issues, like uh, uh, Astro City, the last issue, Kill or Be Killed, also came out last Wednesday. Mm. So volume, the last. The last. It was just a quick four volumes, twenty issues, which is mm. actually the Pineville setup. If it ever gets that far, four volumes, twenty issues. Okay. So now I just have to sit back and wait for that volume four to be printed and trade. I just finished volume three a couple days ago. Bip bop boop. Bip bop boop. Mm-hmm. And that's going to do it for the ABC's and TBB's. Dave's going to figure out his K. We'll get something for you guys. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Fantastic.